really pleased to have with us on our final segment a, a friend who we've had a chance to work with uh, in our different roles over the years, Charles Lester. And we're going to talk about a couple of things. First and foremost, uh, a nonprofit that you started, you're the executive director of Together We Eat, and uh, also the Uncommonwealth Group. But first, Charles, we were talking. Uh, Flint, Michigan native, uh, served the Marines, Navy, uh, found himself in Worcester, Massachusetts, been very involved, worked for Verizon. Maybe just a little background for people who might not know you. Well, yeah, you know, I moved here back in 1989, um, retired from Verizon, um, assistant coach at Becker College, uh, men's basketball coach, um, Quinn Sig, head coach of the men's basketball team. Um, and just been an entrepreneur in the community as well. Um, and a pretty good coach at uh, St. Peter's Basketball League, too. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's... that's <laughs> With the kids, yeah, yeah. It's my favorite league, yeah. you know, whenever little kids are involved because they're our future, you know. Yeah. Um, so we have to give them 100% of us when we're doing it. That's, a, yeah, and that, that's, that's it. And uh, also, you know, had the entrepreneurial, you know, business, a, a few different businesses over the years. But, but you mentioned, you know, the kids and kind of finding ways to give back, tangible skills. Uh, let's get into, you know, the Together We Eat and uh, as the director and why you started it and what actually it is. Okay. Well, Together We Eat is a hydroponic farming program where we teach people how to grow food using water. Um, from the ages of daycare centers, elementary age schools, and senior centers. Uh, we go to different locations. We have farms at Vernon Hill Elementary and Elm Park Elementary where we're going to be teaching summer school classes on hydroponic farming. And physically, you, you have, you know, the structure and a whole, I mean, maybe you could describe for our viewers kind of how you, you do the hydroponic uh, farming, which is fast becoming a, uh, a, a, or increasingly becoming a way pe people get their food sources. Yeah, so what we do is we grow food in a cargo container, which allow us to grow 12,000 plants at one time, uh, growing year round where you know they're doing this in space. So to be able to teach our young um, future scientists, astronauts, uh, this method of growing food, it's great. Our kids at Vernon Hill Elementary School were just given a citation. Right. City Council, um, so proud of them. They grew about 400 pounds of food since February. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And and. That's a, it's a great hands-on activity, you know, but also I, I assume, you know, for the teachers and the kids, you know, whether they know it or not, they're le learning things about, like, photosynthesis and about, you know, water and kind of the plant and the environment and kind of then doing it, it becomes real, right? Yes. Um, one of the first things we do, we talk about the different components that they need to grow so all the kids understand, you know, you the water, the lights, you know, and what the duties are of each component. Uh, the photosynthesis, when the kids go into the freight farm and see the lights, and we explain to them, you know, the different color lights do different things for plants. It, it's great. We look at Vernon Hill School, one of the students, when we first met him, he said, I want to be a cardiologist. You know, so to be able to be in a program and to continue to call him doctor, to push <laughs> his dreams, you right, know. Right, right. You know, it's great. And, and to see people and plants grow. And, you know, I, just in the news, you know, uh, in the last couple of days, you know, Governor Healy and Lieutenant Governor Driscoll talked about, you know, some improvements that they want to make in terms of uh, the curriculum, in terms of teaching young people healthy, uh, you know, good health, but also physical activity and phys ed and, and trying to get, you know, young people active. Um, that's an element of this, too, because, you know, you're not growing Twinkies and Devil Dogs. Right. You're growing healthy, good foods that maybe sometimes these kids are not aware of or have access to, and there's an awareness in that, that regard as well, right? Yes, we, we get to teach healthy eating, and we've noticed once the kids grow it, they are more apt to eat it. We started out with uh, after-school program at Vernon Hill, and it looks like next year we're going to be able to get into the classrooms where we'll be able to have a bigger impact, and more students will be able to take advantage of our curriculum that we provide. It's great to be able to give to the community. Right. And you mentioned the, the food that they grow. So where, where does the food go? Um, different places such as uh, Webster Square Daycare Center. The students themselves get to take some. Oh, that's great. Um, 
Lemonster um, Senior Center, uh, Domestic Violence Shelter, um, the Pleasant Street Neighborhood Center. We have different organizations that we're collaborating with where we're giving food out as well as education. And the breadth of the vegetables that are grown there, what does it include? Well, we have four different types of lettuce, arugula, collard greens, mustard greens. Uh, we experimented with tomatoes and carrots, beets. Um, the kids even grew um, herbs, so we had thyme, oregano, um, basil, mm -hmm. uh, which was great to be able to drop food off at the school's office on a Friday morning, and when you come back, everything's gone. Yeah, yeah. Now, you mentioned Vernon Hill School, but then also expanding a similar type of opportunity at the Elm Park School. Yes. Uh, we have our second freight farm. It's located at Elm Park um, Community School. We're uh, going to start next week with the uh, summer school program where we'll be one of the enrichment programs where we'll be teaching the kids in the summer how to use hydroponics in the freight farm. And will that summer program also exist at, at the Vernon Hill School? Yes, yes. So we have it set up and you know I want to give a big shout out to the Worcester Community Action Council. Um, each location we have seven farmers um, through the Worcester Community Action Council where they're going to be teaching the elementary age school students about hydroponics. Great. And there's one other thing I want to talk about that you're, you helped launch and start, but if, if there are people out there who want to um, get involved or, or learn more, but Together We Eat, how can they do that, Charles? Uh, you can email me at charlesluster at togetherweeat.org, or you can go to our website, www.togetherweeat.com, and that's with the number two. So 2-G-E-T-H-E-R, we eat. Dot com. Yes, correct. Now, the other thing that, that you launched a couple of years ago uh, with uh, some colleagues was the Uncommonwealth Group. And one of the results or one of the initiatives that came out of the Un Uncommonwealth Group is the first black music festival in Worcester. Uh, and that took place in June of 2022. The Uncommonwealth Group, maybe a little bit about that and just in the minute or, or so we have left okay. the, the concert and, and pe how can people can learn more about that? Great, so the Young Commonwealth Group is a group of black men where the founder, a solo dentist and myself, um, we looked at some of the issues that we wanted to tackle. One of the things was uh, getting into the schools to work with our kids. Another thing we looked at uniting our community through music. Um, with June being Black Music Month, we want to celebrate uh, June as Black Music Month. Um, and to be able to be around um, black men um, doing different things uh, in the community is great. They were a part of the farming program at Vernon Hill being mentors. Um, we're looking at Saturday, this coming Saturday, um, June 24th, City Hall, we're going to have our second Black Music Fest, where this year we've had an award ceremony to celebrate different black men that are doing great things in the community. Um, you know, I'm pleased to say different people like um, Reverend Richard Wright from Emmanuel Baptist mm -hmm. Church, um, Professor Sid Buxkin from Worcester State. You know, these are black men that are pillars in our community um, that we want to celebrate them, give them their flowers while they're alive. Good stuff. Good stuff. Well, Charles, uh, thanks for what you're doing in the community, um, uh, both with the Together We Eat and, and the Uncommonwealth Group, and uh, look forward to continuing working with you.